It's a no man. Guys, I'm getting a lot of questions about how to use a snow bungee when you're all by yourself. Um, I've got a really cool thing that was shown to me several years ago, and um, I was waiting for the right situation to show you. And today is the day. So take a look at this stuck. Yeah, a little power slide and didn't actually damage anything. I just kind of set it up against the tree. Uh, it's laid completely on its side. Um, I got all the branches taken out of the way. I want to go forward, but I'm at such a sharp angle that if I hit the gas, any traction snow is just going to go right out the back. And I can't lay the track into it because the ski's up against the tree. So going to get the old snow bungee out and uh, I'm actually going to hook onto the back bumper here I'll switch over here and there's a tree just opposite about 15 feet away I'm gonna use my ratcheting rope and uh, get that bungee with some tension and then I should be able to hopefully move move this snow packed beast out of here it's about 32 degrees so the snow is like concrete so uh, yeah, I'm going to do a little step-by-step step and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Snow bungee set up all out of my pack here on the back. This is a sled-to-sled -sled snow bungee. A little bit longer than the one that comes with the handle. I kind of learned over time the one with the handle is kind of a waste. Because when you buy this sled-to-sled -sled one, they give you the soft tie strap, which you can use as a handle. And these actually have more pulling strength than that short one with the plastic handle. Um, the advantage of this is, is you can wrap this around things that this hook eye is not large enough to go around. I've got an extreme bumper on the back of this and the diameter of that pipe is it's pretty large. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this soft tie around it, get this hook to it. And this is Snow Bungie's ratcheting rope. It's a lifesaver. I've got two of them actually because one time I was about a foot short from the tree I needed and I told myself I'm going to get another one. So. So yeah, ratcheting rope by Snow Bungie, very inexpensive. It acts as a person when you don't have another person with you. I'll go ahead and rig it up and show you how it works. And uh, take a look at this. So here's my ratcheting rope. I got it hooked to the tree. Put the ratchet end on the same side as the bungee so it's out of the tree. And uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and spring it tight. Probably gonna set the camera down since it takes a little bit of strength, but you guys get the idea. And you can see those bungees getting real tight here. And when I get this thing fully maxed out, I should be able to go down there and just, you know, with a little bit of effort, get that sled to pop out of that hole. Hopefully, and my goal is just to set it flat so it has some traction. I may even have to hook up to the front end and drag it out too. So it's a lot of work, but if you're patient, you will get it out, especially when you don't have anybody around with you and you can't avoid the powder. So, <laughs> anyway, watch this. I got the bungee fully sprung now. You can actually see here's the protective tubing right there. And then the bungees are completely spread out. Quite a bit of tension on there. So, I'm going to give this a tug or two and I should be able to get it out. I did dig out some of the concrete snow along the bottom here. And give me a little better of a chance so we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna give it a tug now and see how easy <laughs> it's practically impossible without this so if i can get any movement at all that's what i'm looking for and then i can put more tension on that ratcheting rope as i get this out so let's see how it goes oh yeah very nice. Now I'm going to put a little more tension on that rope and I should be able to get uh, some more out of this, okay? See if I can get a little bit further out of these trees. Oh yeah. Very nice. Still got a little bit more tension on it. When it starts to be too hard to work, just stop what you're doing and go back and put some more tension on it. it. Makes it so much easier. Looks like I got a little tension though from what I'm seeing. Maybe a foot or so of bungee showing out of the protective tube. So that means there's plenty of, a little bit of tension left. Yeah, see, pretty much just gave out and I'm done there. 
So I'll go see what I need to do from here if I need to add tension or move it to a new location. So I got it hooked to the front end now. I gotta get this front end away from the tree and it should be able to lay flat. I left it hooked up to the same tree, the ratcheting rope that is, because it's the only tree close enough and in that direction. And yeah, this only works if you've got an anchor. <laughs> so anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and I've got all my tension on it right now. I've got it hooked to the spindle, lowest part that I could get. Um, so that way I can get it flipped upwards. A little geometry there for you, but um, I'm not a whiz at it. I just figure it's the best location of the spindle. Hopefully I don't break anything. Um, I doubt it. So with all that pressure, maybe I can actually have a chance at it before I couldn't move it an inch, so. Oh yeah, doing good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more tension on the rope. Let's see if I can spin this makeshift tripod over here. You want to try to keep as much snow out of this ratcheted buckle as, as possible. I do have another one of these and it's all iced up from the last time I used it. So after you're done using it in a recovery like this, take it in, thaw it out. If it gets packed with ice, it'll release or it won't even hold tension. So uh, make sure you thaw these babies out. Two. Got a lot of tension on it. Let's see how much further we can get it out of here. Oh yeah. So that was that was nice. I got maybe a foot or so out of it. I'm actually pretty much away from the tree where I can tip this thing down flat. And I should be able to wrap out of here. Um, it's a close one from the way I'm looking at it. More is always better since I got all this stuff hooked up. So I'm going to tension it one more time. Give it one more tug. Make sure I'm way away from the tree so I don't have to um, catch myself in a situation again where I got to get all this stuff back out. So it's a lifesaver. It's a lot of work. But uh, when you get used to using this whole ratchet system, you can hook it to running boards back bumper, front bumper, uh, anywhere that's solid to make this sled do anything you need it to do if you're hung up on a tree in a side hill, upside down, <laughs> speaking from experience. So they, uh, um, so it's, it's really neat to have this because it, uh, it can do amazing things. And this is just one example. Um, so yeah, let's go from here, okay? Thanks. So this will be tug number three. And it's just a precautionary. I think I can lay it down, but I want to get it away from the tree quite a bit. Oh yeah, I'm good there. Got plenty of room. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this, release the tension. Should lay back flat, and I'll rip out of here. I hope. So yeah, laid back flat, real nice. Literally just tipped it over and away she went. Now I got all the track on the snow and I should be able to shoot out of here. Just show you real quick, that's where I put the soft tie on the front. Uh, lowest I could get it at that point, um, but it works really good on that spindle hole, um, depending on the brand, I'm sure, machine that you run. So just a little example of where you can put those things. I mean, it could be inside of your suspension frame railing. I mean, wherever you can get to, that makes the sense, uh, makes the most sense for the stuck that you're in. So just think of that whenever you're using this system. Um, anything can really go and as long as it's helping you. So yeah, let me rip out of here and uh, pack up.
Yeah, dude, I was carving all this up. I came in here and was like, Wah! and slid completely sideways. The sled was, full skis were touching that freaking tree. Look at the branch I had to cut out of there. <laughs> I was a little frustrated because I had been ripping for like three hours without one stuck. I was like, damn, I'm doing good, you know? <laughs> then this stuck, and I'm like, I'm like, man, thank God for this little tree right here. Because that's what I used as my anchor, you know? Because it was concrete. Like, this snow is concrete. The sled was laid over. I couldn't tug it away from the tree to lay it flat because the track's just in there. And so I had to freaking snow bungee onto the bottom, move the back, snow bungee onto the lower spindle, and literally pull it out and flip it down. If I hadn't he had that stupid thing, or a well, great thing, I wouldn't have got out of here. I'd have been begging renters as they passed by. Could you help me? No. <laughs> That's a liability, sir. <laughs> so that worked out good. I'm all out. I feel good. I'm happy because <laughs> that was a lot of work. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, just uh, hit me up, okay? My name is Joe, and uh, I'm with Four Wheel Riders Snowmobile. Um, and today I'm in West Yellowstone, Montana. So uh, enjoy the powder and uh, ride safe, ride smart. There's people coming the other way every time. Thanks, bye.